Guangzhou Baiyun Station, the super station in China's Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, has been put into operation. Guangzhou Baiyun Station, a brand new railway station in the central city of Guangzhou, China, and the eye catching Big Mac in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, was officially opened to traffic on December 26, 2023. In this video, let us learn more about it. Guangzhou Baiyun Station is one of the five main passenger stations in the five main and four auxiliary railway hub in Guangzhou, China. It is located at the southwest end of Baiyun District, Guangzhou City, 20 kilometers away from Baiyun Airport and 5 kilometers south from Guangzhou Station. The total construction area of Guangzhou Baiyun Station is approximately 453,000 square meters, and the station building area is 144,500 square meters. Guangzhou Baiyun Station is China's most representative TOD, Station City Integration, large-scale comprehensive transportation hub. The overall layout is square circle square with urban supporting facilities surrounding the station building. The station is a line-up station which mainly uses passenger flow lines to enter the station from upstairs and exit from downstairs. The station has an elevated waiting level, platform level, exit level, subway transfer level, subway platform level, etc. The entrance to the station is located on the elevated floor. After entering the station, you can quickly pass through the verification gate and security check channel, and then enter the waiting hall. The waiting hall runs east-west, about 387 meters long and 147 meters wide. There are two breathing squares on the north and south sides of the station hall which are used as multifunctional public spaces in the city. During peak periods such as China's Spring Festival and Summer Vacation, the capacity will be expanded into temporary waiting areas to fully meet the flexible waiting needs of normal speed. Passenger Transport The platform is located on the ground floor, similar to Guangzhou South Railway Station. Passengers can take the elevator from the entrances on both sides of the waiting hall to get on the ground floor platform. Guangzhou Baiyun Station has a total of 11 stations and 24 lines, including 5 stations and 12 lines at the high-speed station, 5 stations and 10 lines at the general speed station, and 1 station and 2 lines at the intercity station. After completion and opening, Guangzhou Baiyun Station will introduce Beijing Guangzhou Railway, Beijing Guangzhou High Speed Railway, Guangzhou Zhangjiang High Speed Railway, Guangqing Intercity, and other lines. The first floor below is the exit level. After arriving at Baiyun Station, passengers will go to the next level to exit the station. The first floor below includes the exit hall and transfer area, taxi, social vehicle parking lot, subway transfer, underground entrance. Among them, the West Sunken Square leads to the subway station, the second floor below is the subway station hall level, and the third and fourth floors below are the subway platform level. Currently, Guangzhou Metro Line 8 has a subway Shirtan station on the underground floor of Guangzhou Baiyun Station, where Exit B is connected to the transfer channel. In the future, Guangzhou Baiyun Station will also gather Guangzhou Metro Line 12, 22, 24 and Foshan Metro Line 6 as well as one reserved subway line for a total of six subway lines. Guangzhou Baiyun Station will become a comprehensive transportation hub integrating ordinary speed, high-speed rail, and intercity transportation, and will gradually undertake most of the ordinary speed passenger trains at Guangzhou Station and Guangzhou East Station. 
Its opening will create space and conditions for high-speed rail station renovation at Guangzhou East Railway Station and Guangzhou Station, laying a prerequisite foundation for Guangzhou's high-speed rail entry into the city. Efficiency, convenience and accessibility are the most prominent advantages of Baiyun Station City integration. In the east, northeast, southwest and northwest directions of the station, the operation center, long-distance passenger station, tourist bus station and bus station form the four-corner transportation core to build an integrated transportation pattern. After passengers get off the bus from the surrounding supporting stations, they can walk about 50 meters through the connecting platform to enter the station and wait for the train, achieving level-level docking and seamless transfer. Guangzhou Baiyun Station is the first large-scale station building in China to create land on a large scale above a railway platform. The total area of the land creation is about 68,000 square meters. The 14 high-rise towers in the north and south are symmetrically arranged, complementing the four King Kong towers in the four corners of the building. Functionally, it covers offices, commerce, hotels, and other forms, allowing travelers traveling from north to south to transition from busy journeys to slow urban life and experience a multi-dimensional urban experience. Guangzhou Baiyun Station is based on the design concept of clouds, mountains and waters, flowers blooming in flourishing times, integrating unique Lingnan cultural elements, striving to create an iconic city image and adding a new urban landmark to Guangzhou. According to the person in charge of the project's in-depth design, the overall appearance of the station building is like a blooming kapok. Kapok is the city flower of Guangzhou. 104 kapok petals are evenly distributed inside and outside the station and at the four corners. There are 12 streamer petals in the east and west, 15 inner petals and 25 outer petals. The double-curved petal column and the bionic petals are integrated inside and outside. With smooth lines and warm colors, they create a beautiful form of uh, flowers in full bloom. The kapok petals at both ends of the waiting hall and the folding plate-shaped ceiling that symbolizes clouds, mountains, and beads of water are connected from east to west, embodying the Guangdong dragon boat culture of hundreds of rivalries. The interior design of the station building is also ingenious, incorporating the imagery of landscapes, flowers and trees, and the heritage of the ancient capital and new city into the details of the architectural craftsmanship. From the floor lamps in the elevated waiting hall to the platform light strips, orange red lines and soft light sources complement each other. From the platform escalators to the fire hydrant aluminum plates, kapok elements bloom in every corner of the station building. The optical valley space is bright and atmospheric. Ecological vegetation and garden landscapes are introduced on both sides, creating a green valley in the interweaving of light and shadow. It also embeds traditional cultural symbols such as the Moon Cave Gate and Chilo Street, and conveys the open and inclusive spirit of Guangzhou people through the artistic conception of Cantonese opera-like rain, hitting banana trees and colorful clouds chasing the moon. Behind the good looks of Guangzhou Baiyun Station is the application of a variety of intelligent construction technologies. According to reports, during the construction process of Baiyun Station, it took the lead in using digital, Informatization and intelligent construction technologies innovatively developed an intelligent integrated management platform and realized digital symmetrical management of virtual and real interaction throughout the entire process. Independently developed a steel structure full life cycle management platform to achieve quality traceability throughout the life cycle of more than 100,000 steel components.
Apply BIM technology to deepen the complex nodes of the beams and columns of the main structure. Realize on-site communication visualization, improve processing accuracy, simplify the installation process, and improve work efficiency. At various stages of foundation, structure, and decoration, the project department explored the application of a total of 18 intelligent robots, including concrete construction robots, welding robots, and three-dimensional scanning robots to ensure that project construction is more efficient and safer. It has become a typical case of the application of intelligent construction in large-scale stations, which has greatly promoted the development process of the domestic construction robot industry. The pedals inside and outside the station building are shaped like multi-curved structures. Bending, folding, curves and twisting are its biggest features. The maximum cantilever span is 28 meters and the maximum fold angle is close to 90 degrees, which brings great challenges to the decoration and decoration construction of the station building. The construction team extensively applied digital assisted construction technology to comprehensively improve the precision control of the intersection boundaries of different building materials and provided technical support for factory finalization processing and on-site installation so that the pedal curved surface shape can be perfectly presented. From design and construction to physical operation, Guangzhou Baiyun Station actively responds to the goal of carbon peaking and carbon neutrality and implants a large number of green genes and ecological elements. At each stage of foundation pit excavation, pile foundation, and main body construction, the mud is filtered and water and mud cake are recycled to achieve zero discharge of engineering mud. Promote the use of green prefabricated slope support, which consumes less materials and causes less pollution. It is the first to use the composite plate support free system in the railway field, reducing the amount of steel, making the installation simple and fast, and the construction speed is more than three times that of the traditional formwork system. Optics Valley uses a Skylight Plus light pipe lighting system to guide sunlight into the elevated waiting level, the platform level and the underground level, making full use of sunlight to meet the lighting needs of the station building. It can save approximately 1.47 million kilowatts of electricity energy per year. The Optical Valley Arch Grill uses raindrop-shaped louvers to optimize the direction of light projection and form a physical sunshade effect in all directions, effectively improving the comfort of the station space. 6,600 photovoltaic modules will be laid on the central metal roof, with a total laying area of 18,500 square meters. With the power generation model of a self-consumption and surplus power grid, it provides green and clean energy for station operations. Intelligent monitoring technology is used to monitor and adjust the operation of lighting, escalators, central air conditioning, water supply and drainage systems in real time, achieving intelligent control and energy saving operation, which can save 40% of power consumption during operation. After the Guangzhou Baiyun station is completed and put into operation, it will further enhance the transportation capacity of the Guangzhou railway hub and improve the layout of the railway network in the Greater Bay Area. It is of great significance for Guangzhou to build an international comprehensive transportation hub city and for the high-quality development of the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.